Right lads, you said he came up from York for this. Yeah. It's been four years since the last game. Oh, yes, yes. Will it be another four years before the next one? It's yeah. looking like it after that, I don't know. I think first half hour, very cagey. Um, showed a lot of potential, giving Maxim on the ball, playing freely, but no one to provide to. Jolinton looks scared. Mm. Almiron, blind sheep dog at the moment. We need we need someone a bit more creative. Um, yeah, I think we did after the first goal, I thought second half, if we keep it together, um, lost a lot of momentum when Longstaff went off. Mm. Um, I think we should have made our subs a bit earlier. Um, Jolinton, he just looks scared. Get Gale on. I think he would have done a little bit more. So. I think the only positive I'll take on the train home is Sam Maximan. He's the only player that looks as if he wants to go forward with the ball. He's not scared to lose it. He's he feels like he's been here for the past two years. He's the only player for Newcastle that looks if he wants to get forward, wants to get a goal in him. He feels like he's got some. He's, he's a Duracell battery. He's not afraid to go forward energy, whereas the rest of them just happy to pass the ball from side to side. He's the only player on that side that wanted to get forward, wanted to play for the shirt, wanted to get a goal in him. And he frees his face with other people, doesn't he? But frustrating me no, idea no. was, where's the, where's the options up front, yeah. man? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, if you brought on Gale a bit earlier, I think, you know, when we, when we were pushing, Gale, Gale, it would have looked good if we, if yeah. he were there. But mm. Joe Linton, he tries holding it up. Yeah. No one to pass to. I think uh, fullbacks were doing all right. They're just getting forward, and then you know you've got people like Traore in the wing, and they're yeah. just going to take advantage. And that's what happened when they scored. So I think it's what you said about the subs. How we made the subs what eight ninth minute, bringing yeah. on those two players, Atsu and, um, and Gale. But if if we're going to sit deep and defend, we've got 10 men. If we're going to go forward for the last five ten minutes, it's got to happen before and to cut up the eight ninth minute. We've got to get Gale on sooner than that. Get Muto on. I know that he can't hit a barn door with a banjo, but the point is he can run forward and get in that position. Yeah. He maybe pass it along to someone else. Mm. Neither can anyone else look, can they? No. no Where's exactly. the, literally we had to rely on with centre back, two centre backs. Yeah. Pairing uh, to get the goal. Yeah. Fernandez yeah. with the assist in the cells. Yeah. 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 I mean, Fernandez's assist. I thought you know, I was like, pretty lethal to be fair. I was like, I'll say this now. Fernandez yeah. got a delivery of a midwife for that yeah. cross. Honestly, <laughs> what what yeah. cross he's got on yeah, him? It's fantastic. But, yeah. But it's just yeah, we're just lacking creativity. We, we need we need to, we need to spend some money. Um, you know, back in the day when you had players like Ben Arthur and you had Kabai, yeah. it were you know a little bit more creative, a little bit more passing in the middle. I think, uh, I think it, it's nice seeing the Longstaff brothers playing together, but they're the only ones who are holding up at the minute. I yeah. think they're flying the flag for the for us, but nothing else going forward. It's it's it is frustrating. Um, I, I think we can improve, but um, I thought we could take advantage of Wolves today, especially than being in Europe on Thursday, yeah. missing out on Bolly as well. Wolves fans were petrified about that, and I think we could have capitalised on that. But Joe Linton up front by himself, it's 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 not looking good. We're relying on one striker. I honestly would prefer a fully fit Carroll at the front because I think he'd play more heart on his sleeve than Joe Linton would. Mm. And it were you know it were quite upsetting seeing those fans booing him off, and yeah. uh, it's not what you want to see. You want to be getting behind the players, but when 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 players like that, they're not you know playing for the shirt it's 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 scary yeah you're on about spending money but we did spend 40 million on exactly said you on and he exactly. looks like he's not worth four million i, I think it replied I mean, though i think i think it replied to get you know for us to get behind behind the players and yeah. joe linton I, I don't i don't blame him for his price tag he's a young lad still but i just i think yeah. ba based on his stats before I'm, I'm not sure he was the right player at the time i think it was just a case of throwing some money in to keep us keep us happy and uh yeah, I, d I don't think it's right on him. Yeah. I think as much as Joe Linton looks terrified up front, he needs someone up there with him. We talked about Joseph Martinez from Atlanta in the US. I think he needs someone up front with him. Almiron runs alongside us as Sam Maximan, but he needs someone up there to hold the ball up. Maybe they can play off each other. I think Joe Linton has, made, has maybe made a scapegoat for the past few weeks. He's not a great player, but at the same time, the entire blame can't be put at his feet. He, need, he needs someone up there with him. Was it record? From where I was sat, I thought it looked like a pretty fair tackle. Um, and then hearing after there's some studs up, it's it's ifs and buts with the Premier League. You know, it depends on the referee, it depends on the atmosphere. Personally, I, I I didn't think it was seeing it live. I thought, you know, as soon as I saw it, I was like, fucking hell, it's nice to see, you know, a bit of a crunching tackle. As soon as I saw the red card come out of his pocket, I was like, I don't know about that, but yeah. unfortunate. I think, I think it was just pretty unfortunate. Yeah, to be fair. from where I was, it didn't look like a red card, but at the same time, you got VR, you got referees to make those decisions, but. Um, it was, nice, it, was it was nice to see someone in a black and white shirt put a tackle in and not afraid of it, but at the same time, if it's a red card, it's a red card, and it's just heartbreaking to see. Mm -hmm. All right, cheers, mate. Yeah. Cheers, thank you very much. Thanks, cheers, lad. Cheers, mate.